out. Today it marks 14 years since news broke across the world of Madeleine McCann's disappearance. Well, this year's anniversary holds particular significance as it comes just a week before what would have been Madeleine's 18th birthday. Well, before discussing the ongoing case, let's remind ourselves of when the news first broke right here on ITV Daytime and how events unfolded. So, to discuss how the case has developed 14 years on, we're joined by former Detective Chief Superintendent Sue Hill. Sue Hill, thank you for uh, coming in today. Um, so, this investigation is known as Operation Grange. Yeah. It's still an active missing persons inquiry. It's not a murder inquiry. Um, and, uh, and so, and I said there, it would have been Madeleine's 18th birthday coming up. Let's hope it will be, because that's what her parents believe. Well, of course, I think that's what we all would hope, wouldn't we? I mean, well, you'd love an outcome that would be fine mantling, but I think the reality is 14 years on and we were just saying it's every parent's worst nightmare. They don't know, nobody knows exactly where Madeline is. And Operation Grange, the officers that are working on it, the Met Police officers, you know, they call it a missing person inquiry because there is no firm evidence that Madeline isn't still alive and you follow the evidence and the intelligence. Now, we know that recent events last year, German police have got what they call their prime suspect um, and they're investigating that. But again, um, there's a lot of hearsay evidence, which, you know, we say it's allegations that have been made in the media. German police have made appeals about this guy who lived out in Portugal, uh, Christian um, Brutneck. And it, it, here we've got a picture of him. And the problem is, it's all well and good that it appears that he's told somebody that he was involved in Maddie's um, murder. But the problem is, unless you've got firm evidence, mm. unless you've got forensic evidence, then you can suspect. And sadly, over many years, um, I did go to families and say to them, I think I could tell you who's killed your child, but I'll never be able to prove it. Okay. Because unless you've got evidence and oh they can God. suspect... But the good, the good thing is, I mean, that guy is in prison. Mm. Um, they know for that it was different. for a different offence, yeah. for well, he's a, a, a rape. He's a, conv a convicted um, paedophile. Uh, currently serving a uh, seven-year sentence yep. for raping a 72-year-old American in 2005. It's been reported, importantly to say, reported that Christian Bruckner is uh, set to be charged with the rape of an Irish tour rep on the Algarve in Portugal in 2004. Um, but again, unless he confesses or unless some sort of new it's... evidence is, is proven, yeah. that's difficult. And, and we go back to night one in that apartment and that's where so much evidence was lost. Well, sadly, on that night, you know, you can imagine when Kate came back, and I think I've read in 5A, that apartment, there were about 20 people mm. that trampled over that scene. And the reason for that is everybody's in shock, they're hysterical, they're you know, trying to find your little girl. Um, and pro the problem is then you've contaminated the scene. That's your best time, that's your best chance, your best opportunity to seize forensic evidence. And, and sadly, you know, on reflection, when the police... And it's not a criticism, we've said this before. Well, you're hoping it's, it's fact, not going to become a crime scene, are you? Yeah, of course you're not. You're hoping there. she's there, she's hidden, she's yeah. going to be found. But 14 years on, you know, at the heart of this, you know, we're, we're parents, your worst nightmare, and that little girl has, has not been found. And the worst thing ever, um, while the investigation continues, is because all the time, whoever abducted Maddie is still out there, then they got, you know, they can take another child. Mm. They've committed this criminal act. And it's frightening and it's shocking. And we know paedophilia is rife. We know it's rife online and they are out there. And sadly, we still don't know um, where Maddie is. The German authorities, um, obviously, as we said, that they have named him as their prime suspect. His Bruckner's lawyer has always denied that he's had any involvement in this case. Um, you believe that they were so public by announcing on TV about this. They call it um, uh, that it that it was a, the murder suspect, although we don't say that here because no. our system is very, very different. Yeah, yeah. Um, you believe that they did that to kind of trigger Bruckner into saying something. So just explain what well, that is. You, you just wonder, why have they been so public? There's been also a documentary about it. German police have been very, very public because it suggested that he told somebody on uh, Maddie's 10th anniversary of when she went missing over a drink. So are they trying to get him to talk? But the point is, I don't know why they would have done that, because he will be alerted to the fact that, you know, the German police are talking about him. Why would he ever admit 
to taking a child and killing a child, knowing that you're going to go away for a very, very mm -hmm. long time. So I always think it's, you know, as an investigator, you keep those things up your sleeve um, so that you don't give out everything you've got until you can support and corroborate the evidence. So in your experience of, of a long yeah. career with criminals, the fact that he would say that, is that does that, if, if you were leading the investigation, does that lead you to think that's just bravado and bragging or he has done something extraordinary well, I, here? I think in his case, Philip, when you look at his backgrounds, he's got the means the motive, the background offending, the behaviour. He was in the right place, he was in Portugal, but you can't assume anything. You have to actually get that evidence to support, mm. you, you know, your gut feeling. They might have a gut feeling, and over the years, lots of investigations, you have a gut feeling, you think they've done it. But unless you've got the evidence, um, you know, you go back to cases like Jeanette Tate, you might remember, in 1978, the young girl went missing, never found. Never found her unless, you know, and I, we all hope, don't we, that Maddie would be found alive. Mm. You know, she's at the heart of this investigation, a little girl that's gone. With the, but there is no evidence. With the, with the team of um, Met officers who are working yeah. on this continually, how much contact will they have with Kate and Jerry, Madeline's parents? Will they be keeping them informed of what's going on? Well, yes, but the thing is, after 14 years, you can imagine, the family don't want to hear of every sighting. I mean, I remember... Of which there have been so many. Oh, can't there have been so many over the years. Everybody doing it for the right, right reason. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to help. You know, we all want to help. But the problem being, you know, they would now be in contact, but the liaison would be very limited, unless there's something specific. Because how many times have that family been let down? And all the theories, there's been more speculation and yeah. the different theories about, you know, the, the guy who was seen walking with a little child. And all these theories have been blown out of the water because there was no evidence, but they had to be bottomed out. All those inquiries had to be pursued. But today, I think what the German police are hoping that they know that Bruckner, he had a, a camper van, Back in 2007, he was living in Portugal for a number of years. Has anyone got any information? Because the other thing, if he committed other criminal offences and they suspect it's him that took Maddie, again, suspect, um, if they can keep him in prison for other offences, mm. at least that keeps other people safe. And even if they mm. can't ever prove, and we may never know, mm. um, if he's committed other offences, that's their motive. They want people to come forward. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just hard. Even if it's information that you think is small, insignificant, yeah. you never know, it might be that piece of the puzzle. Yeah. The trouble is, 14 years on, Mm -hmm. You know, we're 14 years on, and this has been one of the biggest stories, missing people inquiries ever. Uh, you know, there are very few people who haven't heard of this, um, unless you've been living under a stone. But um, with all that exhausted investigations, there's still no real evidence yeah. of there where Maddie is. Well, um, uh, we asked the Met for a statement and they referred us to a statement they issued last year. Um, the Met Police in June last year made a public appeal for information where they uh, were looking for information relating to two vehicles and two mobile phone numbers that a suspect currently imprisoned in Germany is known to have had access to and used around the time of Madeleine's disappearance. There's a £20,000 Met reward for information leading to the conviction of the person or persons responsible for the disappearance of Madeleine McCann, um, and um, and quite recently, um, this May, uh, Kate and Jerry said, uh, we hang on to the hope, however small, that we will see Madeleine again. As we've said repeatedly, we need to know what has happened to our lovely daughter, no matter what. Four officers um, apparently are working on, on this case, continue to work yeah. on this case. How long can it stay open? Well, I suppose as long as there's lines of inquiry and investigation to pursue, and, you know, I said earlier, at the heart of this is a little girl and someone took her. Somebody has taken her. Who took her? And whilst that person remains undetected, that person poses a threat to other children. Um, and we can't have that, mm. you know. It's a little girl who's gone and we need to find out who did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much.